What's going on guys? Welcome to your 14th Java tutorial. Again with me, Travis, my bring back. What we're going to learn about in this tutorial is something called casting and what that allows us to do and all that good stuff. So we're still going to be working with these int values like we uh, discussed in the previous tutorial and we're just going to create, for example, an int answer. Um, again, this is kind of a review. We're just going to set this equal to be A plus B as well, just like in the last tutorial. So as you can see, we don't have any errors. This is going to print out 30 just like in the last tutorial, so uh, nothing new there. But let's say, for example, we want a float value as our answer. We can still add A plus B because, again, our float value can work with decimal places. It's somewhat precise, um, but, you know, not as precise as a double. And again, the long uh, works with integer values, uh, you know, larger integer values um, that we couldn't do with, you know this nit this int variable here but we can always use like a double if we want to declare what a uh, addition for an int value is or in this example of float the float will again allow us to work with integer values but also with decimal places so you know we can work with integer values we just can't go the other way around such as int and then we work with float values here which would be e and f as you can see we get an error here now what we can do is we can actually say, hey, you know, I'm pretty lazy and you guys are kind of cool. You got those decimal places, all that sweet stuff that I don't really care about since I'm an integer. Um, you know, how about we just make this work? Can you just help me out here? Just, you know, pretend you're an int value for me. And basically that pretending uh, you're something that you're not is called casting. Like, you know, you're a cast member in a, uh, a movie or something like that. So let's just type in something within parentheses. We're going to say int value here and then whatever value we have. Again, this is a float value. But what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, classify this as an int value because, you know, we're lazy and, you know, just make it work for us. We can also do that with our second variable, which is, again, a float value. But if we do this casting method here, um, basically, it's going to allow us to say, hey, both of these are now ints because, you know, again, we're lazy. Just help us out here and we can save this and run it and see what happens. Uh, we get four because, again, our answer is an int value. So it's going to, you know, not worry about the decimal places, but we're still going to get some sort of an answer with this float values. But if we actually add these values here, we get 5.25 um, because, you know, 150 plus 375 is 5.25 but when we use this casting variable it won't even recognize these decimal places here so basically it's going to be like hey you say 1.5 but I'm just going to classify that as one I don't care about rounding you know you told me to make this work I'm making it work I don't care about your rounding business get out of here I'm just going to take this first value and same with uh, 3.75 it's not going to round up to four it's just going to be three so that's basically what casting is. When you guys see that something within uh, you know, a primitive data type within these parentheses here, that's called casting. It's basically just saying, hey, you know, I'm looking for an int. Can you just help me out here and make it work? Um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. But just to do a quick review here of everything pretty much that we've learned so far and answer uh, this guy's question here. It says, and these codes, when are they going to be used? Um, or when are they going to be a real calculator or something? Now, you guys could pretty much uh, figure out how to do this, you know, without watching the rest of this tutorial. So if you guys want to have some homework, just stop the tutorial here and try and figure out your own calculator method. But if you guys want to watch and kind of get a overview of everything that we've done so far, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click. We're going to create a new interface because, again, we've talked about interfaces before. We're going to call this interface equations something like that and we're also going to create a new class called calculate so we're just going to hit finish we have our calculate and our equations class I'm going to kind of close out some of these other classes that we've been working with also open the starting point because we're going to need that so again for our interface we don't define the actual you know all how everything works what we are going to do is we're going to create an int value we're going to call this int value add and we're going to take two int values within the parameter. So we're going to say a and int value uh, b. And there we go. We've somewhat created an interface uh, just of an, an addition, or we can say, um, actually, we'll just stick with add there. 
We're going to save this, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our calculate class, and we're going to say implements that interface. So the interface was called equations, and there we go, and it's, we're getting an error because, again, we need to, you know, since we're implementing, we have to add that, uh, th those methods there. So we're just going to hover over, and we're going to say add unimplemented methods. And there we go. We have some sort of a variable, and it's called a plus b, and it has a return value. Again, we're returning, um, because this doesn't say void here, we're returning an int value. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say, um, we can set up another int value called answer, add a plus b. But we can also just do that within this return line as well. So we're just going to say a plus b, and... Um, we're good to go pretty much. I'm just going to add the equations there or the parentheses there um, and we're just going to save that. Now we can go into our starting point class and what we can do is we can say that is of the calculate type. So we're going to say calculate and we're going to call this calculate variable calculator something like that. We're going to set this equal just to a new calculate and that's just the basic constructor again. Um, so there we go, we have a calculate method. Now what we can do is we can set this answer to be equal to um, our calculator variable that we just created. And we can use a method called dot um, add. And it takes two variables within the add method. And so we're just gonna say, you know, whatever variable types that we wanna work with, Again, this add method works with integers, so we have to pass in an int. Um, so we're just going to say a and b as well, because they're both int values. Again, whatever we pass in does not have to match uh, you know, our method within our calculate class. Those are just renaming those variables there. So we could also pass in like 50 and b, so the outcome would be 70. So let's just do that. Um, since 50 is an int, b is equal to 20 up here um, again that's what our that's our method that we're using and then we're just going to print that out so let's just save this run it as you can see we get 70 down here so you know that's basically our calculator again we can use that scanner uh, that we use to get the input in the previous few tutorials uh, and you know add those numbers as well create an int value of whatever the person puts in after we ask a question down here in the compiler and uh, you know add those values as well so you guys can do that as homework if you want um, or you can add more methods within our equations class or interface and then also our calculate class uh, besides add so hopefully you guys are kind of understanding Java now a little bit more clearly how we can use some methods what casting does what casting allows us to do and thanks again for watching guys I'll catch you in the next tutorial have a good one